Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I want to talk with you about hot flashes. I get asked every day if wigs are hot or how to deal with them when you have hot flashes. I did a video earlier this year where I talked in depth about some strategies that you can use if you get hot easily and you find wigs to be hot. Density, permatease, length, all of those things make a difference. So I'm not going to recap that. I will link that post, uh, that video in the description of this one so that you can go watch it if you want more in-depth conversation about different wigs to try if you suffer from being hot all the time. But in this video, I want to talk specifically about hot flashes. That is something that I'm experiencing right now. And I know a lot of you are around the same age as me going through the change of life, or if you're going through a cancer treatment or some other health condition that brings on hot flashes, you're probably wondering how you're going to get through that if you have to wear wigs. So I'll tell you some of the things I do, and I'll just give you a little bit of encouragement because quite frankly, it is just something we're gonna have to muddle through until we can get past this stage of our life. Wigs are a challenge with half lashes. There's no two ways about it. But I've discovered just a couple of accessories that I use and they do help. So I wanna share them with you. So if you wanna know about them, stick around. Hot flashes are a humongous challenge. There is no two ways about it. And I'm not going to lie to you and say that there's any perfect solution for them because I really think it's just a matter of trying to survive them at this point and not, if you can't eliminate the hot flashes, wigs are going to be a struggle when you have them. That is really just the bottom line. But I have a couple of ideas for you guys that might help you and they have made a huge difference for me. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to encourage you to go watch my other video that I've linked in the description where I talk about our wigs hot and I give you multiple suggestions for different types of wigs and different styles that can help you mitigate how hot that they how hot they can be. I'm not going to talk about that in this video because I spent 20 minutes talking about it in the other video. So go watch that one if you want some ideas of wig styles and my thoughts on permatees versus low density and all of that. But let's just say you've dialed that in. You've got some shorter wigs. You have wigs that you can wear in ponytails and updos. You have a headband wig. Uh, honestly, when I know it's going to be hot and I'm having hot flashes every hour, my go-to right now is either a wig I can wear in a ponytail. This is my human hair wig from In Vogue Medical Wigs. It's called Santana and I reviewed it just recently. Or a headband wig like my 3 fourths cheap Amazon I'm sorry, eBay headband wig. I have videos on headband wigs already and gym wigs. For whatever reason, pulling a wig up and even throwing a headband on it makes a huge difference for me. And so that is my, my first strategy is the type of wig that I wear. The second strategy is this baby right here. This is my handheld rechargeable fan. I did do a short on this one. My one complaint is it can be a little tricky to open. I need to tape a little duct tape handle on here so I can pull it open easier. But I will link this in the description for you. I got it on eBay. I'm sorry, Amazon. And it is amazing. It has two levels, low and high. It's very, very quiet. You can barely hear it. and it is miracle in keeping me cool. I can't even, I can't rave about this enough. So it charges with a USB cable right there. And I think I've used this at least two full hours since my last charge. I really don't remember when was the last time I charged it, but I have used it so much. I took it when I went to my daughter's um, orientation for college and I was having hot flashes left and right and one would come on and I'd grab my little fan and I would hold it sort of down here we'd be sitting in an auditorium or something and it would just give me a little cool breeze people do not notice it I had one woman I was sitting in a kind of an out a waiting area we we're waiting for the next event and I'm holding the fan down here 
so it's not up here where you know she was looking at me and she smiled and kind of you know gave me a friendly look and I thought maybe she saw my fan so I went hi I go yeah I'm having a hot flash and she went oh my gosh I didn't even see that fan people don't notice this this thing has been a miracle for me it comes in multiple colors it's not expensive you just plug it in to a USB cable to recharge it and it lasts for so long. I've brought it to church. I mean, it's just literally been a lifesaver. Love, love, love it. My last tip for you guys. This one, maybe hit or miss, is a little odd, but let me show it to you because it's under my wig right now. So let me pull it out. My wig is adhered, so I can't take my wig off, but let me see if I can show you how I pull it out. It is a little ice pack. I bought this on Amazon, where else? And it is so amazing. So this side is like a very soft velvety feel. It feels like the ear, soft velvety ear tabs on a lot of wigs. This is just kind of a plasticky side and they have little gel beads in them. And so they're hot and cold pack. So if you wanted to heat one up, you could use it as a hot pack, but what I do is I put it in the freezer and then when I need it, I just pull it out and I stick it underneath my wig. Now, it does add bulk. So some wigs I have a challenge in, with wearing this. With this wig that I have on right now, it has a lot of hair and my hair is up in a ponytail. So it, you can't see it. I can feel the extra bulk up here when it's under there, but you can't see it because of the wig. Now, if you have a very low density, very flat style, straight hair, you may be able to see the this little bulk underneath there. So that's going to be a challenge. I also find it sometimes to be a challenge to get it underneath my wig to stay. If you wear a wig cap or a wig grip, you might have an easier time with this. I don't like wearing those things. I don't like the extra bulk. But if you wear a wig grip, you could stick the ice pack on your head, then you could put the wig grip on like normal and then that will hold it down. And then you could put your wig on over it. What I end up doing is I just tuck it, once I have my wig adhered and secured, I just tuck it in underneath the back. not the easiest thing to do. Especially because my hair is getting long and I pull it when I do that accidentally. But I just tuck it and then I reach in underneath the wefts up here and I sort of push it into place. And then once I have it in place, I'm good to go. So the cons of this are number one, just finding the right wig to wear it underneath so that you can't see that extra bulk. And for comfort, if you have a wig that's super tight on you as it is, that extra bulk might be a problem. I have typically quite a bit of extra room in the crown because the, over my over the top of my head measurements are so small. So it's really not, it doesn't add enough extra bulk to be a problem for me. The other thing, like I said, is depending on the style that you're wearing, this may be a bit too much extra bulk and it will be obvious. Um, so you may have to choose a wig that maybe has some curls or some volume so that you can't see that. And some wigs just don't fit me as securely as this one does. And so it is hard for me without wearing a wig grip or a wig cap to hold it on uh, that it can slip around a little bit. So those are some of the cons. You'll have to play with it. I will link it in the description for you so you can go take a look at it. They were not expensive. The other con is that it doesn't last a super long time. I would say you have about an hour or so of coolness and then it loses its effectiveness because it it's, I mean, it's you're trapping it on the hottest part of your body. It's going to lose that cold pretty quickly, but one solution could be to purchase multiples, keep them in a cooler with an ice pack to keep them cold. And then as your piece starts to lose effectiveness, you could excuse yourself, go to the bathroom or something and switch it out. I would say if you're just going to wear it to go to church or go to a quick lunch date or something like that, you can probably get through it with just one. 
But if you are going to need a lot longer of a period of time of keep, in addition to maybe having a little fan or something, but if you really need something to last a lot longer, then I would recommend bringing multiples with you and then switching it out. If you um, don't, if you wear a wig grip or a wig cap, that would even be easier because then you could quickly take your wig off, switch it out and put your wig back on because I adhere my wigs with it stays or ebon spray or something like that in the front. I have just a little bit more of a challenge in kind of fishing it out underneath the back because I don't adhere the back and sticking the other one in. But if you're suffering from hot flashes, it might be worth it. So that's what I have for you guys today. Those are the things that I've been doing to try to help me manage through my hot flashes. And quite honestly, I just don't wear a wig most of the time when I'm at home. It's just too much for me to bear. And I've worked my way up to being comfortable with just my balding head around my family. Because comfort, I mean, I don't know, I'm 50 years old at this point. I mean, I do want to look good but comfort is pretty important to me as well. So we gotta balance it. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you have another idea. What have you tried to deal with hot flashes and with wigs being hot? Maybe you could help us out with some new ideas that will help us. The last thing I wanna mention is I, do, I did do a review of a product called Headline It. It's a, it's a cooling liner that you can put under hats, under wigs. It definitely works. I did like the product, but I had two things, two reasons why I don't use it. Number one, it does add more bulk to the wig underneath the wig. And since I already don't like extra bulk, um, I just don't really want to add that bulk to it. Even though this adds a little bit of bulk, it's in one concentrated place. The other reason is because I switch my wigs out so much. So the headline it has like a sticky backing. So when you stick it under your wig, you can secure it to it. Now you can peel it off without damaging the wig and you could switch it to another wig. It does though start to lose its stickiness over time. I think it would work fine for somebody who wears the same wig every day. You could just leave your headline it and wear it for a few times and then switch it out. For me, switching up my wigs all the time, having to switch it from wig to wig or own multiple just wasn't practical for me. So I just really don't use it, but I will tell you that it worked. It did keep me cooler. And if I were going someplace like all day for a long period of time, it might actually be worth it. Even if that were a one-time use of it to use it. So check that out. I will link that video in the description. It might be a solution worth trying for you. All right, guys, I don't know where my there it is, my little remote so I can shut off my camera. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped give you some ideas. Maybe you have found a product that you'd like to try. You never know, but we'll get through this. We don't have any other option, right? Hot flashes can be tough, but we'll, we'll muddle through. Let me know what you've tried and maybe it'll be a new idea for me too. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.